Hey dancers, on October 4th from 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, I'm hosting a flexibility workshop. This is two gorgeous hours of flexibility stretches, warm-ups, tips, tricks, hacks, all of the above taught by yours truly. We're really going to focus on full body flexibility. So we're going to get that back flexible. We're going to work on our feet. We're going to work on side and center splits. That's right the splits. So for those of you that are kind of struggling or maybe you've plateaued on your flexibility progress, this is the event for you. And you guys, I lowered my ticket prices. So early bird tickets are only $15. That's it. And those are limited to the first 50 purchasers. So don't waste time. The regular tickets are just $20. So you get two hours of live dance content. You're gonna leave feeling amazing, inspired, motivated, and above all, more flexible. Um, and I'll be available to answer questions in live time. So if you're on Instagram, swipe up to get your ticket. If you're on YouTube, click the link in the video description and I can't wait. See you there. Hi, sweet babes. Today we're doing some contemporary floor work. So I have a few single moves to show you and then we'll piece them together. Oh, sir, would you like to view my contemporary floor work video? Would I? Yes is the answer. <laughs> Here are the moves that we're doing. An inversion flip over, a Z-sit pipe throw. Yes, I just made all these up. The third one is a chug knee spin, and the fourth one is... Make something up. No, I literally forgot what it is. Oh! A shoulder up. A shoulder up. All right, my love, so that inversion flip over. Step one, let's figure out what kind of inversion that we're talking about. So what you're gonna do is start with a little tondu to the side. Your hands are gonna go down. I'm gonna make sure to not kick my... Random friend from the street. Hello, it's me. Hello, it's me. From the highway. Your hands go down and that top leg is gonna come up and over. But it is a jump that's gonna tuck to the floor. So let me show you. You're gonna go palms, jump, step. Let's just try that a couple times. Five, six, seven, eight. Go palms, jump, step. Now, if you notice, you kind of end up facing the side. What's gonna happen is that leg is gonna tuck down. So you're sitting into like a half split situation. But let's piece them together. So this inversion flip over is kind of cool if you're making some choreo up, blah, 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 blah. You're like, how do I get to the floor without just like tucking? Do a little inversion flip over. So we step. Let's take it to the floor this time. Six, seven, eight. This goes palm, jump, tuck. Let's try it again. Let's try it again. My tuck, my tuck okay. wasn't that great. My tuck wasn't that great. That wasn't that great too. Figure it out. Five. I'm on the highway. Six, seven, eight, go bump, but Is that better? That was better. Yeah. I mean, you probably looked great, but yeah. All right, sweet dancers. So this second one is your little Z-sit, pike, push. I forget what I called it, but it's fine. You're starting in a Z sit, which Matt can show you like that, and then I'll show you from the side. It looks like a Z, hence the name Z sit. Clever. So, whatever leg you have forward is lovely, but you're gonna place the same palm forward as the front knee. From here, you're gonna squeeze your lower abs, and your legs are going to straighten out into a pike. Now, you're kind of on your butt for a moment, and switch to the other palm, and lay down. That looks so lame, slow. <laughs> So let's it try feels way to slow. <laughs> Ready, five, six, seven, eight, go pump. Push down. So, yeah, did not look way cooler faster, Brian? Yeah. The first one he was like, just cricket. So you're teaching kids this? Speaking of cricket, really fun story. That literally, I honest to God thought that was an actual cricket noise. A cricket flew into my, oh wait, no. It was a grasshopper, scratch this whole story. <laughs> it's fine. Halfway through, I was like, this is... All right, guys, let's try it again. So my biggest tip with this is that when your legs are straight in front of you, they are slightly lifted, you're gonna wanna crunch down, pull up, and squeeze your abs. This is a really cool transitional movement to add into any choreo. Let's try it, Maddie. You got it. Five, six, seven, eight, pump, squeeze, and lay. Um, 
Dancers, this next one is a little chug into a knee spin. So you're not gonna do what I just did. You're gonna sit up onto one foot. So I know you're like, Miss Auntie, you already taught us how to do this chug. Apparently you're all gingerbread men. Hello! Um, I know you know how to do this chug. If you're new, welcome, we love you. Here's a chug. Um, if you already watched the other floor work videos, this chug is going into a knee spin. So um, let's break down the chug first. So you put your palm down, you step forward, you're sliding on the side of your shin, the lateral part of your shin, and your other arm is going to give you a little propel. Um, so you go and palm, chug. Now, this little guy that's bent, you're gonna come up onto it. So there's a little weight shift there. Now, from here, you tuck that back toe. This is really hard to do slow. I know. You're going to spin around your knee. Yes, that wasn't so bad. Was and bad. over. So those two pieces are going to seamlessly blend together. Um, okay, let's try this. We fell over a few times off camera, so we'll see how this yeah. goes. Ready, five, six, seven, eight, palm, chug, switch, and what? Do Glad you made it. Let's try it again. You didn't see, but. So, dancers, the reason that Matt got around. I was waiting for you to say a joke about how you're better than me. <laughs> oh, that's not a joke. That's just how this is. All right, guys. So, for real, I think I fell back because I was either too upright or I was leaning back. So, when you're in the knee spin part, if you slightly lean forward, there it is. You're okay. not gonna shift backwards. So you don't have to like fully hunch forward, but give a little bit of weight forward of your body to get around. Let's try it one last time. Come on. Here we go. <laughs> Come on. Work Balance with me. God. Let's Work go. with me here. Five, six, seven, eight. Yay. Elbow five. Boom. There we go. <laughs> All right, my love, so this very last one is your little shoulder up. So you're gonna start laying on whatever side you like in a fetal position. So I have my front palm right by my chest and then my top arm is extended. You're gonna roll onto your back, keeping your toes onto the floor. Your arm comes up and over. Now, if you notice, this first arm is going to bend underneath my body as I swing my legs and push up. Now, Matt's going to show the straight, and I'm going to show a bent knee. And then you come back down, reverse the roll, and lay on your side again. Let's show that. One more time. So over here, let's go a little faster. Five, six, seven, eight. We go roll, tuck, up, bend, reverse, and lift. So the idea there is that you're truly on top of your shoulder. So you wanna push high enough that that bottom shoulder tucks under. If you feel like your neck is getting crunched, you're likely not up on your shoulder. Do you have any tips for this one you wanna show one more time? Yeah. Go ahead on your own time. So Roll that bottom arm, yes. Oh, this is good to know. Matt is doing it where this arm right here is bent and it's a little bit more of like a prop. That's one way to do it. You can come out of that, Maddie. Thank you. The way that I'm doing it is I'm a little bit more like... Bent. Yeah, my, I mean, not in a good way though. Sometimes it hurts. <laughs> my shoulders are a little more mobile. I've, I've been tucking my uh, arm under. Watch really fast. That's good. You can do it two different ways. So we're here. I've been coming here and coming under. Mm. and then bending and rolling back. Both are really lovely. I would um, test it out on your like, different body types yeah. and see if it feels better to be kind of propped up or have that shoulder tucked under. Try all those, those are fun. I like those, those are a good time. I love floor work. You can literally roll on the house like that. Roll it, roll it. Let's piece all those favorites together. <laughs> so, <laughs> what's the thing? Burr, burr. Okay, sorry. Burr, burr, burr. Sorry, guys. From the top, it's gonna go inversion kick over into your pike push from your Z sit, mm -hmm. into your shoulder up, mm -hmm. into your chug knee spin. So mm -hmm. slightly different order. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, well, let's try it. We'll go slow and then we'll do it a little faster. <sighs> Wouldn't be a vlog if I didn't burp in the middle. Of course not. So, six, seven, nice and slow. Goes inversion up, tuck, Z 
sit, pipe push. Lay, down, shoulder up. <laughs> Tuck to your knees, set, tug, shift your weight, turn around. Yeah. Turn around every now and then I get a little bit tough. Copyrighted <laughs> song choice. Five. I'm pretty much kick you. We're both long legs. Yeah, I'll, I'll stagger a bit. What our ballet teacher used to call people that were tall with like longer legs, long row stems. No, long stem roses. <laughs> And I like it. It's cute. Oh, nice. It's cute. I, We're just a couple of long stem roses. That really and... influences like everything you talk about. Yeah. <laughs> like I know where it started now. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Ready? Five, six, seven, and this is up. And tuck. V. Push. Leg. Shoulder. Tuck to your chug. Switch your weight. And over. All right, darlings, great job doing this contemporary floor work. So I, what I love about floor work is like it can be modified to really any level. Mm -hmm. um, and it's perfect, these little vlogs are perfect if you get kind of stuck when you're choreographing, you just want to throw something new in, here it is. And we even, we even, we even gave you, we even gave you a little phrase at the end that you can kind of just throw in. Um, so I really like floor work vlogs, but you met. I love floor work, it's so much fun. You're just like rolling around everywhere and it's just kind of, <laughs> Rolling like it's a little chilling. roly poly. It's great. Good times. You guys, if you want to be a part of our monthly email list, it's filled with inspo and events and promo codes for things. Um, so if you kind of want to just stay in the loop for everything Miss Ati, go to atikamal.com, type in your little email in that pop up, um, and you'll be a part of the family. So I'm so excited to have you. If you're new, we love you so much. Hello. If you're not new, we love you more and more each day. Preach. <laughs> Bye, you guys. Do I guys, don't know. Do people do that but still? No, no. Bring it okay, back. sir, you can go back to the street. All right, off to the highway. Off to your day job. Selling. I'm extremely late to the day job, by the way.